um, programming for life here. Uh, today I'm just going to be starting a little Python tutorial for you guys. Uh, first of all, we're going to have to download Python, of course. I obviously have it already, so, but first we're just going to go to python.org. Um, the Python programming language, the official website. So we don't really care about any of this, we just want to download it. You could go over here, just re I just realized that. Or, you could go to releases. Um, yeah, I, as you can see, I downloaded 1.7.3, uh, 2.7.3, sorry. Um, it's what I prefer, and I, I'm guessing that these versions, the three-point versions, are getting a lot uh, more popular. But 2.7 is, in my opinion, my favorite because it's you know, just more flexible with my needs. So, yeah, um, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, of course, we're just going to do, go download it. Um, we're going to go to downloads, and obviously I have a Mac, so what we're going to do is that, uh, let's just see our compatibility first. We're going to go to a, uh, oh my God, I'm going to do about this Mac. Um, let me see, wait. About this Mac, yeah, okay. So I have OS X 10.8.1, so that's obviously in this criteria. I actually, I obviously knew that I had this, but uh, I was just showing you this for some clarification reasons. So uh, here you go, Mac OS X, right here. So we're gonna go download it. Uh, but if you have, but if your OS X is a bit lower, um, sorry, uh, older. And you have a Mac OS X, then you're gonna download this. But for me, I'm gonna go download this just to show you. And I already have all this, so we're just gonna go delete this. And uh, okay, whatever. But first, um, let's assume that Python's still downloading. In the meantime, we're gonna have to go download a uh, text editor, of course, or you could just go bland like, not be cool, and then just go with like text edit but no who cares right i mean like uh you want to be fancy like so we're just gonna go type text wrangler in safari this should be the first link bare bones software then text wrangler should be pretty easy to find and here we're just gonna go download text wrangler here and Gonna go download the uh, disk image. You you have to have an Intel Mac and a Mac OS X 10.6 or later. So yeah, I already have this, and uh, there you go. So first of all, we're just gonna go um, click that, uh, double click Python, the Python image, and uh, the image file. Sorry, I'm gonna go to Finder here again. And then we're just gonna go double click the Python Nick. Okay, whatever that is. We're gonna go continue. Con wait. Yeah, okay. Continue, 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 agree. And we're gonna go install it, but I already have it, so I don't want no one doing no nothing. Uh, okay, so now that we finished that, and that's another smart way, we're gonna go to Text Wrangler, and this is basically what should happen. Then you see this amazing little link here. No, not a link. I mean, this amazing little icon. Drag it into applications, like a game. Then you're done. And then it should be in your apps folder. Like a boss. Okay, so then, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go have to, we're gonna go have to, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to, uh, what do you mean? I've, okay, we're just gonna do some programming. So we're gonna go to Python, and you know that now that we're at terminal, you might think this is kind of useless, right? We downloaded Text Wrangler, just go on terminal instead. But this is because Text Wrangler takes some time to run programs, so it would be better for more advanced things. So, which is why we're using terminal. So basically, what we're just gonna do is type Python. Doesn't matter about any function uh, capitalization. For all we know, you could be doing this. Right, and it would still work. Right, it'll bring up the Python console. Okay, 
and basically we're just gonna do the um, most traditional piece of code, line of code, in the programming history of awesomeness. So uh, I'm just gonna go type in hello world, very simple, press enter, boom. So you notice how it ran, it, it just uh, executed the line. Um, it just executed the line as soon as I pressed enter. So it's uh, this is the reason why I'm using this because it's a lot faster. It works with addition too. Yeah, yeah, see, and uh, subtraction, negative one, uh, addition, uh, uh, multiplication. By the way, this is how you do multiplication. There's a little asterisk. And then print. Uh, and you can also do it with modulus. Um, I haven't told you this yet, and I don't plan to yet. So, uh, um, it, this is going to be about later. Uh, this works with numbers in brackets. Just print them out. There you go. So, uh, this is a really simple piece of code. And, you know, now that we're having this, um, now that we have Python and Text Wrangler, we might as well just show you how to uh, do Python code on Text Wrangler. So we're just going to go print hello world right here. And this is not pretty. So you might be yelling at me saying, then why don't you just use text edit? Text edit. Yeah, okay, about that. We're just going to, we haven't saved it yet. So you haven't told the computer this is a Python file yet. This thing is just a text file. So we're going to go to file. We go save, or you could press Command S. There you go. Now notice how it does say it's a text file. I'm gonna go name this prog.py. PY is very important. It's an extension for Python, and that's what the computer uses to uh, know that it's an an actual Python file. I'm just gonna go save. Yeah, or whatever. You shouldn't get that because I already have one here. So then now it's all pretty looking, and then we're going to go to the hash exclamation mark, run in terminal. There you go, hello world. And just to tell you, this is legit, and I'm not trying, and I didn't set this up to fool you. I'm going to go type in some random stuff that I could have not possibly memorized. That, okay. I'm going to go save again, and run. As you can see, it does say this. this it does do it. So, uh, yeah, so this is part one. I'm going to do some other things uh, about data types and conversions between data types stuff like that so uh yeah so do whatever you need to to be happy and bye see ya